Alright guys, so here I'm going to be showing you how to get tethering on an iPhone 3G or 3GS running 3.1.2. Now you do need to be jailbroken to do this. So first, scroll over to your Cydia. Just go ahead and let it load up. Now this does work on most phones that I've seen. Um, I've done this, this is going to be the second time I'm doing it. I removed it the first time and the tethering got removed. When I removed it the second time, the tethering didn't. So we're going to see what happens. Go over to search. You're just going to search for my my why. Alright. Now, don't install a cracked version if you have it. You need the regular version. Click that little install up in the top. And as you can see, it's going to install MyY, Rock Extensions, and Rock App. Don't worry, you can remove these and still use the tethering on most phones. Some phones, you might have to do it again and remove it and see if it works that way. Like I said, I did it the first time and it removed it and it removed the tethering. Did it the second time, it didn't remove the tethering. So, and never open up my Y during this whole tutorial. Don't open up my Y. Okay, we don't need. We just need to download it. But we are going to use the Rock app. And you'll have to restart your phone or reboot or respring, you know, whatever it says. So reload springboard. So you're going to tap that. My VLC is going to get off right now. As soon as it comes back on, I'll put a picture back on for you. And don't worry, if your springboard is crashing, it shouldn't be because of this. You might want to check that out. Okay, I'm just going to connect again. And bam, I'm back. Alright, let's scroll over to the Rock app. Okay, as you can see, it's right there. Go ahead and go into it. You will need a Rock account for this, so if you don't have one, it's very easy to create. And like, I'm already signed in, so if you don't have one, it'll ask you to sign up for one or sign in one. You know, you can do that. Okay, so we have one update here. So we're going to go ahead and update this. Just click in on the MyY. And just go ahead and update. And then confirm. Let it run. And you will have to restart your springboard again, I believe. And just click OK. Let it restart. It's a soft reset, so it shouldn't take that long. All right, once your phone's restarted, just go ahead and slide down and lock that baby. Gonna go ahead and put it back up here. All right, now as you can see, all right, so we're good, right? My Bluetooth's on, everything. So let's go ahead and go to settings. Let's see what it did. Then go to general, network. And you should see your tethering. Now mine is already set to on because I had it on. You can flip flop, okay. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna turn it on, and this works beautiful, guys, I mean, beautiful you don't even need the my why I hide it actually but let's go ahead and see so you turn it on right go ahead and go back and right here on my I'm just gonna go to my springboard now right here on my computer I'm actually I already have it set up oh I can find it right here connect to network and you should see On a Mac, I think you have to go to System Preferences, Network, should see it in the side right here. 
and if you don't have it set up, it, like I said, it might not be set up. What I like doing, I like using the USB. It's a lot better than the Bluetooth, and you're charging your phone while you're using the Bluetooth, so your phone's not going to go ahead and die. Connect it to the USB. Should have it set up right here. If you don't have it set up, it should pop up and say, oh, you have a new network available or something like that. All right, it says right there. We're just going to go ahead and wait for this. I'm just going to go ahead and toggle this on and off. Let's see what it does here. Now it should be reading yellow. I'm not sure why it doesn't yet. He said it might be something to do with my why. You never know. But this does work good. Let's go ahead and set up a Bluetooth tether. Let's just try this one right here. All right, found it. All right, should put a code up here and you're just gonna type this in on your iPhone. and then just hit connect just go ahead and hit quit after you're done go ahead and go over to here to your bluetooth pan select your device hit connect has no IP address it will in a second and then on as you can see it's connected let's go ahead and turn off my airport here let's go up to here turn off now as you can see the only connection I have this mini card actually isn't connected it's gr the only green connection I have is my Bluetooth right so we're just gonna hit X out of that you can see right here that I am having three kilobytes up and are down and one kilobyte up so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and go to Safari and we're gonna type in Google and I'll show you how fast this is kind of it's actually relatively fast and we'll just wait, wait for it to load up Google. There you go. Google isn't that big of a web page, but you know, um, I don't really use that many. I use Craigslist, Google when I'm on the go. You know, that's basically it. Some forums which don't have that heavy media. If you want to cut down on your usage, do not use this a lot. Okay, guys. Um, you do not want to use this a lot because your company could charge you. Uh, I haven't got any charges yet from AT&T, so we'll just see. Alright guys, that's how you set up Bluetooth tethering. If you want to turn it off, go to your iPhone, flip off, as you can see, unavailable. The blue will the blue will go away on your iPhone, usually. The I don't know what the heck's wrong with my chicken and see, but yeah, my Bluetooth went away on my iPhone. No problem. Oh yeah, so that's how you set it up. If you want to try to remove this, go ahead and try to remove it. Um, let me go ahead and reconnect here. I'll just show you real quick. Oh, my Bluetooth, uh, my Wi-Fi is on, no wonder. Let's go ahead and turn back on my Wi-Fi. Click connect right there. Should be connecting. Oh, my iTouch. Oops, wrong one. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, having a little trouble here. Um, yeah, if you want to try to remove it and see if it works, try it out. Um, I did remove it, and it did work for me still. So you might want to try that out so you don't have the extra rock app extensions and my Y on. All right, guys. See you later.